How you guys doing today? Nice sunny day outside. Micro scale garage. Episode 24, I believe. All right. In this episode, I painted my truck. We'll look at that one in a minute. I kind of messed up on that paint job. That was the second paint job. <laughs> and I painted Xavier's truck. Um, I gotta say, I didn't know. I didn't. I did my research when I was painting mine. When I'm painting his. I was like, oh, I want the grill to match, and I want the lights to match. But I didn't know that um, it was supposed to be black. So I might end up having to take these off and um, paint them black. Just sort of look right, look scale. I don't know. I've seen some with the same color lights, but I like the black. Let me know in the comments. So I took off all the little panels and how you take them off is I just took a small little screwdriver and there's like glue with the tabs. I just scraped that glue off and then just popped it through. Same thing with the tail light with the uh, turn signals here. And I tried painting like some of the detail. I broke his mirror. I got to glue that on. I got to take the roof off and glue that on. But painted his gas cap. I'm going to try and paint his red. And that's his, and then we're going to sticker bomb it up with a bunch of camel stickers and get his roof rack. He wants to do the red roof rack. So the red ladder, and the, we're going to do the red uh, window um, frame that they have. <clears throat> so. And then my truck. So I painted it camel tro trophy yellow, and uh, I added a winch. The winch doesn't work that good because I have it up on the window. Oh, I bought two more jack stands now. So now I have four, you guys. Um, put the winch here. But uh, the only problem is when you use the winch because of the servo, it's really bindy. So it's real hard. So that's probably going to wear the rope out. Um, it still kind of works. There's no transmission in it. We'll get at that in a minute. I did the same thing. I peeled off all the door handles and uh, I didn't really tape off those. I painted those last, but I peeled off all the little vents and uh, all the little lights and the rear lights and the rear turn signals. But what happened was I was going for a stripe to go this way, kind of like RC Four Wheel Drive has a stripe on their silver truck, their one temp scale kit that they sell. So I took some uh, my green masking tape and I masked it off and you know, I masked it off here I counted up to eight and I went all the way over and I took my brush and I mixed up some cool black and silver paint to give it like a I don't know like a gunmetal look and I was like alright cool let's paint it so I started painting it and then went to the other side and I must have had too much paint on my paintbrush because as I was peeling up the uh, masking tape before I even started peeling up the mask tape, I'm sorry, I noticed that there was bumps and bumples, and that's probably me from not putting the masking tape down all the way, and I did that on both sides. So I noticed that there was some mess ups, like there was some run marks here. So I decided to take one of my uh, extra BF Goodrich tires, or I don't know if these are BF Goodrich tires, but maybe these are like a Cooper tire, but these are dirt grabbers, RC full drive with that tread pattern, and just it's like that common off-road tire that you can go get at discount tire or something. Pretty cool. I love these treads. So I just took it and started, you know, tried to roll it around, tried to get a pattern. And uh came out like this. Let me know if you guys like it. Um, it grew on me. You know, as you can see, I messed up the whole stripe. I like it. So, we're going to mount his mirrors, but I also ordered him a dual motor kit. Right now, I don't have a transmission because I gave him my motor and transmission. So, we had to drive. My motor and transmission came in from Crawler Central. And, uh, sweetheart, you want to hold the phone for me? Thank you, dear. Now I got two hands. Da 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 da. Post lady came. I was super excited. I didn't even want to go to sleep last night. 
So I just finished up painting the body. Right. Cool. So we get two N20 300 RPM long shaft um, gear reduction motors. And with a case, I saw this on eBay. And this is uh, Club 5 Racing. It came from Clo uh, crawlercentral.com. So I guess if you go to club5racing.com, you'll be able to get the details on this kit. Or eBay, just look up the dual motor kit for the uh, Galende 2 RC4 wheel drive 118 scale. So let's go ahead and open this up. Actually, there's a, there's a sticker there for information. No, not in print. I really like the packaging. It's like something you'll get from like a your gold nails tripping me out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking tripping me out. Oh, look at that. You get a tap. You're going to have to bleep my F bomb. Yeah, we get a little Allen hit. I need one of these anyways. I'm always losing one and one with a red handle. So here's the motors. We'll get to that. But I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a tap. And there's a nice little keyway here. So that way you can mount it up to the axles. Or you're gonna mount this up into the drive shaft. And there's a small hole in there, and that's what you're gonna drill through. It's that small hole right there. Thank you for the white background and the roof. So let's open up this. Nice and solid. Motors are in. They're already bolted in. I'm probably going to unbolt them so that way I can uh, you know what? I might get away with not even drilling it. I might be able to just get away with just tapping this hole so there's threads and then just putting this on the flat spot and screwing it in. Yeah, and then how we're gonna wire up the motors is you're gonna wire up positive to positive, positive positive on both motors, negative negative on both motors. But on whichever motor is your front motor, you would want to reverse it, or vice versa, your rear motor. You would want to reverse it. So what you would do is you would reverse the polarity. You would take your positive wire and you would solder it over to the negative, and you're gonna take the negative wire and you're gonna Side it over to the positive. So that way, when the truck is driving, this drive shaft, you know, this drive shaft is going to spin this way for it to go, for the wheels to turn in a forward motion this way. So the drive shaft would have to turn in this clockway manner, and this drive shaft would have to spin in this clockwork manner for the tires to go in this motion. And that's how we're, yeah, counterclockwise, and that's how we're going to get it to achieve that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go up to the hobby shop. I'm going to have to buy some, well, I don't know if the, I mean, this wire work when I plug this up into the speed controller. So I already know it works with these DC motors because I plugged up the Orlando Hunter motor first to make sure that his speed controller can handle it. So I'm going to just go ahead and chop this wire, desolder this wire, chop it up. Get ready to solder it, and then I'll come back with another video on um, how this looks when it's all wired up and everything. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's open this I'm up. Not holding it while you do all that. <laughs> I really wanted to get into it since you were holding the phone. Yeah. All right, my wife doesn't want to hold the phone anymore, so <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna um, go ahead and. Man, I'm just going to tap this and take the other one off. Where's the other one? On the transmission. Look at how much beefier it is than the stock trans. Oh, we don't have a cover on it. Move that big ass Allen wrench. There we go. Now you got to bleep me twice. I don't know how to do all that. You're going to have to cut it. I just upload it off the phone. I, don't I just know. threw it with two hands. Okay. 
It's a natural, not bigger transmit. Well, can't call it a transmission. A motor mount is what I can call it. Than the actual transmission and motor. Um, I still wish there was a way where I could run one of these motors with this transmission. You know, the Orlando Hunter way. But I'm liking this dual motor setup because there's less strain on one motor than versus two motors. So, and these look bigger than normal 300 RPM motors, the long shaft. I mean, maybe it's just me because it's new. They're probably the same size, but I know the shaft is just longer. I do want to take the motors out and uh, count the gears. But all right, you guys, it's time for my kids. <laughs> they want to go outside. They're playing with Transformers. And um, like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, God bless, peace and love. And I'll see you guys in the next video.